the NFL, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Raiders and the Lions on Monday Night Primetime. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Tonight, we reach the unofficial midway point of the season with a good Monday night battle as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they're in a real groove of late. Winner. A red zone situation forthcoming as this defense will need to step up here. First and 10, ball at the 19. Now Goff on first down. He's got it to Williams. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here we go now on first and goal. Gone. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they come up now, second and goal. Running left, Montgomery. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. O'Connell from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 12-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee up. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? 
It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you... The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. You swing that out wide to Jacobs. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. O'Connell working from the gun. He gets this to Devontae Adams. Fights through and now a crease. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And they go play action here with O'Connell. And his throw is incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone is in a momentary completion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage protocol and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The kick by Carlson is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get... Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. And he is going to have the Raiders first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Third and one. Who are you going to call? Not the scat back. A big play coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. To throw here, O'Connell. Slant to Adams. Touchdown! Devontae Adams. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab.
fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. From the shotgun, O'Connell able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a... We have a red zone alert. This defense giving up ground, and they'll look to stop a second and one. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Once again, it's Jacobs. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Raiders are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. It's a two-score game in the fourth quarter. Onside kick coming up, and the kicking team desperately needs a football. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there and checking the timeouts. They do have two defensively, but no real need. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have